Imagine taking a drive through Northeast Michigan and seeing nothing but solar panels for miles and miles and miles. This is the first one in the 106th House District that I am aware of. Um, 106th House District is six counties in Northeast Michigan, uh, Sheboygan, Presque Isle, Alpena, Alcona, Mount Morency in the northern half of Oscoda County. On the other hand, imagine that you have a hundred acres sitting around doing nothing and you could potentially make over a hundred thousand dollars per year. Balancing private property rights, you know, certainly these folks that uh, have uh, chose to have solar on their farms have leased that property and received compensation. They should be entitled to do so. Since agriculture is not what it used to be, a lot of farmers see this as farming in a different way. Farming of energy. Well, I like looking at trees and things like that uh, just as well as anyone else. But I also realize that these solar panels have to be sited somewhere and I'm happy to give up a portion of my property for that project. This is a battle between property rights. The rights of the landowners that want to lease versus the rights of the landowners that can't lease or won't lease, seeing the panels outside of their windows every single day. I feel sorry for the ones that only have an acre left and are going to be surrounded, but how do you change the private property laws? The governor has passed a law that stripped local control over solar and wind energy. For some people, the money from these solar panels can be absolutely life-changing. Their private property rights should not be violated by your private property rights. So there, there's a balance there. In Rogers City, Lisa Day, WBKB 11 News.